Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to show you how to add icons to the Divi menu module. So we're going to be using the built-in icon font and we're also going to show you how to use Font Awesome. So the two of them together, we're going to be showing you with the menu module, but we're also going to show you how to do this with the classic menu. All right, well let's get started and let's see about improving our menu with some icons. All right, so let's start with the main menu links. And this tutorial, it's going to work for the menu module, the new menu module, you know, if you have it in the theme builder or anywhere on your page, but it's also going to work with the default menu. So when I first started making it, I was going to make it exclusive to the menu module, but then, you know, why not just kind of make it generic and work for both? So you can do that with the code. But anyway, this first one here, is for the main menu link. So I have an example here. So we're going to be adding icons here, have a couple of drop downs. That's where we're going to be putting them. All right. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to want to go over to our blog post. That's where you can get this snippet. So let's copy that snippet here. We're going to copy that. And um, as you probably know by now, I like to work for, especially for tutorials right on the page itself. So I'm going to be pasting that in the page settings. Um, for you, you're going to want to put it in the theme option, CSS, or in your child theme. So you can go read up about it with that link. It takes you to that video and that blog post explaining where to add code. But for this one, we're putting it in here so I can see it. That way we can work with it in the demo. So let's paste it in here. And right now, you can see that I've added an arrow to each one of these. All right. So that's how you do it. If you want the same icon, for these menu items and we'll get to changing that up a little bit. All right, so let's get back here to the blog post. Let's copy this one also for the sub menu links. Let's go ahead and put that in. That way we have it in here in the tutorial where we can work with both of them. So we'll paste that. And then again, um, this first one is the main menu. And now this one's the sub menu. So we've added it there as well. All right, so let's keep going here. So you're probably going to want different icons, you know, different ones for different menu items. Now on our site, PA Creative, uh, we currently just have, you know, the arrows, okay? So, you know, if that's all you want, you're in luck because that's easy. But we're just gonna show you the next step for adding, you know, a CSS class. So here it is. So we're going to actually make a custom CSS class and put it in our menu. And we're going to make a different class for each menu item. That way we can have, you know, pretty fine control over it. You can say, you know, here I have an example. Of, I was saying like, what if we had a shop um, page or something and we wanted, I don't know, you want to put the a cart icon there. I guess you wouldn't really do that. But anyway, bear with me. So here I entered the class PA-menu-shop. Okay. So if I save that, Oh, and by the way, if you're in here and you don't see the CSS class area, you can go up here to screen options and turn that on. So right there, CSS classes. All right. That way you can see that and every single one has that. Then we can, you can add a class to each one of them and then we'll target it with the CSS. So you can go back here and I'll show you this a little more in detail, but we can grab that and make sure that we refresh because we just saved our menu. Okay, and then we'll go in here and we, we're targeting just that one. It's the one that says shop. So we'll go down just below here and paste that. Now, now we have a conflict of interest. So let's just get rid of this one. There we go. So we added the icon just to this one. And the way we're doing that, remember we added PA menu shop to the back. Um, make sure that in the back here, you don't add the dot or anything like that. It's just PA dash menu that shop and then here we add the dot because we're targeting that and then we're targeting the link so though an a represents the link and then the before class is the icon all right so what we did here was we changed the icon as well and i happen to know that that was easier one five for this card icon all right so we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves but it's the only way i knew to do it so let's go back and look at the actual icons that we can use like which what icons are available where did i get that you know so there's two options that i'm going to cover 
the one that comes built in with Divi and font awesome. And we already have tutorial on that, so you can check that out. But the first one here, you wanna check it out. It's over on the blog. You can link to it and here it is on Elegant Themes. So here's all the icons that we have available. And you'll see that they have these kind of crazy codes, right? It's like an at and symbol and then a pound sign or hashtag and then an X and just, they're all different, okay? We're actually going to be only getting like the last three things. So not even the X. So take off the and hashtag and X. So if I wanted a question mark, it would be just 75, okay? If I wanted this key, it would be E001. If I wanted this image, it would be E005, okay? Um, yeah, I don't know why they make it that way, so I'm just the messenger. Um, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, so back to the tutorial. We have two options. We have the ET modules, and the font awesome, and those are font families. So just take a look at the code here real quick. You'll see how, see how we say font family? Well, if you're using any of those that I just showed you, you can just leave it as is, change the number. Right now we have 24, okay? Remember we have that arrow? So if you're back here, you'll see right there is 24. Remember we take off the first three characters there. So there it is, that's our, our icon code and we can replace it whatever whatever we want. So if you wanna make one for each one, you can go ahead and do that. But if you want to use Font Awesome, you're going to need to change the font family. And that's easy to do. So like I said, it's just font family ET modules, but for Font Awesome, where do I say it? Oh, here. So you want to say something like Font Awesome 5 Free or Font Awesome 5 Brands and you're going to take note of that when you're over at Font Awesome and you're looking at the icons and I'll just show you one here as an example. I'll just grab one, um, let's say like this angle right. So it'll actually tell you right here it just says solid. Um, if that was like a logo or icon or something for a brand, it would say brand style here. And then you would want to say font awesome five brands, I think it is. It gets confusing. It's really confusing. So that's why I kind of just stick to the built in Divi ones. But anyway, yeah, so the font awesome five free is the font family that goes right here, the very first one, okay? So again, if you're using the built-in ones, don't even worry, just change the number. But if you're using Font Awesome, change it there. And then you would wanna change this number to this right here. See, it says copy Unicode. So it's a Unicode. So F105 would be this Unicode, okay? And then we would put it in here and we would come in here and say F105 or whatever it was and say Font Awesome 5 free and there we go, okay? So then we get that icon. So in order to do that, you're going to need Font Awesome integrated into your website. So make sure you check out that other tutorial, how to add Font Awesome to Divi. All right, so did we cover it all? Okay, not quite. Also on our website, we have a nifty little hover effect. I like it. It, it kind of goes over, moves everything over and changes color. That's really easy to do. You can see that we had a transition. Here it is on the, on the hover. You can see the hover right here. So we're just taking the code that we had um, and adding the hover, and then we're changing something, like some feature. Like in our case, it's the collar. So if I paste that here, and then we go down here to these couple here, you can see it, it's working, okay? So it's moving it over, and it's changing the collar. That's all it is, and then we have the transition. And that's why we had the transition in here before, so. You have to put the transition on both. All right, so I feel like this one was really not organized. I'm sorry, um, but hopefully you could learn something. I hope this makes sense in some way, you know, to add icons. You can add, either keep them all the same and just copy in the snippets, change out that number, or you can use Font Awesome, or you can add a different one to each of the menu items, and then, you know, just copy different snippets for each one, you can use this on the menu module, you can use this on the default menu. 
if you wanted to target a specific menu module, you would want to come in here. Um, instead of doing this, you would want to target the menu module by saying ETPB menu, right? And if you had one in particular in mind, you might give it a custom CSS class like, um, like just, yeah, for sake of this demo, let's say I said Nelson, really, really simple here today. And then I went in here and added a CSS class. Oh, we already have one. Ignore that. Say Nelson there. And it's going to work because we're targeting just this menu module. We want it just to be on that one. So you can do stuff like that. This is really unlimited. Um, if you want to style this icon, just add your styles in here. Not there. That's hover. But just add them in here. Maybe you want a border around it. Maybe you want it to spin. You're going to have to look up the CSS for that kind of stuff. But this will give you the gist and I hope this is helpful and I hope it didn't feel as disorganized to you as it did to me because it feels really disorganized to me. That's probably because it's midnight. Okay, so that's how you add icons to your Divi menu. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to be subscribed here and on the blog, check out our Divi Teacher Facebook group. All right, let me know what you want to see next and we'll see you guys in the next video.